So therefore, uh, here, new solutions and uh, combinations and joint ventures were planned and they were, they were very reasonable to avoid any bottleneck on the energy market with these terrible um, um, consequences we have had uh, in the uh, uh, 2007 uh, situation when energy was uh, on a price of 165 or going for $200 um, per barrel. it goes on. So the next question, who are the drivers now? Who should be or who should be the drivers? Of course, first of all, the capital markets made their decision. The capital, mar the capital markets, markets shift their attention towards East Asia. That's good so, because there is a second economic miracle to expect. 500 billion potential consumers give all of us here the uh, feeling that green uh, business will be in the right time in the market. But uh, I call it second um, economic miracle because the first economic miracle, I'm a German, came from Germany. We had it after the Second World War with only 35 millions of people and the result out of it for 35 millions of people for Europe and for, for many other city, uh, things in the world is very simply to measure. What do you think will come out of a second uh, economic miracle that is based on 3.5 billions of uh, consumers? And that's the right way and therefore Mr. Shandwa is completely right that at the moment the uh, um, economic frame in Asia is superior. So um, it will be um, one of the uh, most important things um, to understand that in the industrial, in the industrial uh, world, especially uh, here in Malaysia, where you <coughs> have to um, join and to participate uh, as a competitive partner in the fast-growing ASEAN and Chinese and Indian markets. Capital markets have shifted and decided. The five billion consumers uh, had a fantastic uh, development uh, in the last 15 years, but uh, it is still to do very, very much because the biggest, um, the biggest um, uh, risk is the uh, poorness in, in many areas, and that shouldn't be affected by um, volatile prices in uh, energy consumptions. Uh, young people are open for innovation and advancing new technologies. I hope not only young ones. I'm sure that this is not only a privilege of young people. And uh, the natural disasters and climate change, the global economic developments force governments to very quickly build new sustainable infrastructure and processes. That's why we are here and that is what is necessary to be realized. Who should be the drivers? means governments cannot solve challenges like that alone, especially, um, and they need support from the corporate private sector. And that's why all of you took the time to be here all the day and to hear such a lot of information. And uh, uh, of course, we need, the license to, we need the license to operate from the civil societies, from the bankers, from the, uh, uh, from, from the uh, uh, trade unions, and whoever is a stakeholder uh, in our uh, companies. Corporate business, should therefore become the driver of the green business solutions. But how? That doesn't matter that the, that the government uh, can uh, go out of the, uh, its, its own uh, responsibility. Uh, as Mr. Schander said, it's quite clear that infrastructure solutions have to uh, be um, um, brought into the governmental um, activities. How can and should it be done in general? Well, there is some quite simple thing. Uh, at first, it is the individual leadership. Uh, we made the experience that mainly um, the uh, companies that were um, owned by uh, families or persons uh, in the medium-sized uh, company world um, have this leadership. Uh, and the uh, second thing is to by taking more corporate responsibility in the form of ESG. ESG is just um, the uh, way that uh, economic, social, and governance has to be transparent and uh, the outperformance in return of investment has to fit the outperformance in sustainability and uh, the outperformance in integrity and not the other way around. Uh, by focusing on progress responsibility instead of only 
uh, on, uh, in, uh, and, and focusing the company's uh, development uh, in, uh, in services, and, and especially in, uh, in advanced services uh, around the products to widen this, that uh, because of our real-time business worldwide, um, the um, uh, process responsibility becomes more and more important than just only the product responsibility. What does it mean? It will contribute to raising competitiveness on condition that there is an equal market access for all. Well, we know that the uh, access to markets in Asia um, is uh, not so easy, but the market has a tremendous uh, scale effect, and therefore there are a lot of solutions just by taking process responsibility, po by, by taking process responsibility possible successfully manage uh, innovations in green and clean sector services will push, business com in the, uh, will push the business communities to unique market power, exceptional growth and prosperity on the condition that the shift to low carbon or reduced water, in, to, to low carbon or reduced water intensity matches economical outperformance. And that is what industry can do best. How can it be done in particular? Corporations need to learn how to create wealth beyond the traditional approach while meeting the demand of roughly 7 billion people 2011. And they need to find new opportunities to serve our knowledge society in ways hitherto not imagined. This is a more um, um, a theoretical answer to what um, we heard here today in very practical, in very practical manner. Um, we have to... Yes, uh, we, are, we are nearly through. Um, the, um, um, uh, what we heard today in very practical proposals, via um, <clears throat> broad-based strategies that go far beyond simply compliance, supported uh, by entrepreneurs, uh, that means um, people who really stand behind uh, um, uh, these um, uh, companies to see this development as a business opportunity. And that is what we heard here from many speakers in, in a very fantastic way. By erasing on products and processes with remarkably higher market shares through large-scale joint ventures between ASEAN and Europe, uh, corporate partners, including smart, green, and clean solutions. This is a key element that the scale effect of the Asian markets have to be brought into the uh, philosophies of the uh, company structures because a scale effect in our Asian markets, high-tech, high-end, uh, large-scale, uh, but, uh, but um, acceptable prices, uh, that anybody can be part of this market, that will be the future and nothing else. By achieving, by, by achieving process leadership through real-time business, that's the another approach we, we, we surely should uh, mention um, by um, uh, ITC and other things, there is any possibility nowadays to have an absolutely real-time business every day. Um, we can um, transport the smart integration of value chains. That means the integration also of very independent and uh, very uh, effective uh, small and medium ent enterprises into this process very effectively and by benchmarking and measuring high performance. This is, of course, necessary because any bankers and monetary, and monetary funds would like to see uh, if the risks are high or low. And, um, it's not only in, 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 in foot uh, security, but also in any kind of human security. Um, that means health and other things. So finally, where to go from now? Advisable is any way to um, come via joint venture or uh, other partnerships um, into a long-term investment just to make the green business, core business, in, uh, very profitable with clean solutions and that this will ease the impact of the industries, especially on communities. Or the other way around, if the industry is able to do that, then the communities do not have a trouble within the next 10 years. Second, for example, only the water conservation, companies would go beyond reuse or recycling or reduce and add two more elements 
the replenishment and the redistribution just more focusing on the